Hello friends, again welcome back to my channel. So my name is Pramod Thorat and this is CompTIA A plus core 2 exam practice test series part 7. So this part is also very helpful to pass the core 2 exam. This practice test has 10 questions. So before you get start, don't forget to subscribe this channel to see more video like this. So let's begin. So question number 1 for this part. So which of the following provide the best way to secure physical access to a data center server room? So below are the options and choose correct two options. The option A is a biometric lock, option B is a badge reader, option C is a USB token, option D is a video surveillance, option E is a locking rack, option F is a access control vestibule. So let's check the correct answers for this question. And the correct answer for this question is option A biometric lock and option B badge reader. So let's go to the next question, question number two. And the question number two is which of the following and the question number two is which of the following Wi-Fi protocol is the most secure? Option A is a WPA3, option B is a WPA hyphen. AES, option C is a WEP, option D is a WPA hyphen TKIP. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is option A, WPA3. So let's go to the next question, question number 3. So question number 3 is a department has the following technical requirements for a new application quad core processor, 250 GB of hard drive, space chip, GB of RAM and touch screens. The company plans to upgrade from a 32-bit Windows OS to a 64-bit OS. So which of the following will the company be able to fully take advantage of after the upgrade? So option A is a CPU, option B is a hard drive, option C is a RAM, option D is a touch screen. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is C, RAM. So let's move to the next question, question number 4. So question number 4 is a user is unable to log in to the domain with a desktop PC but a laptop PC is working properly on the same network. A technician logs into the desktop PC with a local account but is unable to browse the secure internet site to get troubleshooting tools. So which of the following is the most likely cause of the issue? Option A is a time drift. Option B is a dual inline memory model failure. Option C is an application crash. Option D is a file system errors. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is A, time drift. So let's move to the next question, question number 5. And the question number 5 is, a user reports that a workstation is operating sluggishly. Several other users operate on the some, same workstations and have reported that the workstation is operating normally. So the system administrator has validated that the workstation functions normally. So which of the following steps should the system administrator most likely attempt next? So option A is increase the paging file size, option B is run the chk dsk command, option C is rebuild the user's profile, option D is add more system memory, option E is defragment the hard drive. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is C, rebuild the user's profile. So let's go to the next question, question number 6. So question number 6 is a technician is setting up a desktop computer in a small office the user will need to access files on a drive shared from another desktop to the network on the network so which of the following configurations should the technician employ to achieve this goal so option is a configure the network as private option b is a enable a proxy server option c is a grant the network administrator role to the user option d is a create a shortcut to public documents so let's check the correct answer for this question and the correct answer is a configure the network as a private. So let's go to the next question, question number 7. So which of the following is a proprietary Cisco AAA protocol? Option A is a TKIP, Option B is a AES, Option C is a RADIUS, Option D is a TSEA CS plus. So let's check the correct answer for this question. The correct answer for this question is option D, TSEA CS plus. So let's go to the next question, question number 8. So question number 8 is, a technician is asked to resize a partition on the internal storage drive of a computer running Mac OS. So which of the following tools should the technician use to accomplish this task? Option A is a console, option B is a disk utility, option C is a time machine, option D is a file vault. So let's check the correct answer for this question. 
the correct answer for this question is B disk utility so let's move to the next question question number nine so question number nine is a client wants a technician to create a PC naming convention that will make the client's PCs easier to track and identify while in use so which of the following naming convention format should the technicians follow option A is a domain name location IP address option B is a domain name location asset ID option C is asset ID MAC address option D is a location RFID so let's check the correct answer for this question the correct answer to this question is C asset ID MAC address so let's go to the last question for this series question number 10 so question number 10 is an employee is unable to view in office network folders while working at home so which of the following is the most likely cause of the problem option is untrusted software option B is outdated antivirus option C is MDM policies option D is inactive VPN so let's check the correct answer for this question and the correct answer for this question is inactive VPN so this part has been completed I hope you are enjoying these videos if you like these videos please don't forget to subscribe this channel I will upload next part shortly thanks for watching Thank you.